everyone and welcome to my new doll repaint video and today guys I really want to make something special something with lots of shine with lots of gold rhinestones with some special accessories like maybe some interesting headpiece or some other accessories and that's why I've decided to make the Indian goddess Saraswati here she is on the picture you can see her now she looks absolutely beautiful she has this amazing headpiece I immediately want to recreate this headpiece for my doll then she is sitting in a beautiful lotus flower it also will be very interesting to make uh, then she plays uh, this amazing very interesting music instrument and she has four hands four arms really what can be better sounds like a perfect project for me and yeah this is it this is what we're going to make today we're going to make this beautiful Indian goddess Saraswati she's a goddess of knowledge goddess of wisdom, goddess of art and she looks absolutely beautiful and very 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 special. I want to make something like in between, if you watched my older videos, uh, I've made a goddess Kali a couple of years ago and I also made a Jibaro or Hibaro doll last year, so today I want to make kind of mix of these two projects. Very shiny golden Indian goddess. So, let's make it but before we start, let's first take this sponsor of today's episode, Skillshare. I've been a member of this online learning community already for a couple of years and I always recommend Skillshare to others because they really help me to improve my art and also my online business and also to become better in photography, video editing, digital illustration and time management. But next to classes in photography, film and video editing and illustration, Skillshare offers hundreds of career-focused classes as well. You can use Skillshare to learn how to build a successful career to fit you outside of the traditional 9 to 5 schedule. You can explore your creative and career options and learn what it takes to break into a creative industry, take classes to find your creative voice and style and gain more financial stability as a result. This Sunday I'm living on holiday for two weeks and I'm taking two Skillshare classes with me to follow. The first one is called 3D Character Design in Nomad Sculpt by Dave Reed. I've started this class already a couple of months ago with the intention of creating my own BGD doll, but this is a very big and ambitious goal that requires a little bit more free time than I usually do have. So finishing this class and coming up with the first raw draft of my own doll is a goal for the next next two weeks. I really like the way Dave explains 3D sculpting, so I'm already really looking forward to it. And another class that I'm going to follow in the next two weeks is called Motion Masterclass Maximize Your Productivity and Organization by Ali Abdal. Notion is one of the best productivity apps out there as far as I know. It's designed to make organizing and systemizing your personal or professional life much simpler and also much more productive. It looks like it can be a real game changer for me, so I really want to give it a go. And I've already followed a couple of different classes on productivity created by Ali on Skillshare, so I can really trust his information. So, and if you want to try Skillshare, you can do it completely for free right now, because the first thousand people to use the link in the description box under this video will get a one month free trial of Skillshare, so please go there and check it out. So thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and right now guys let's go and repaint that doll but don't forget to subscribe to my channel of course it's very important and this is the lucky doll who will get a complete makeover today I think she has a very good face for a beautiful Indian goddess so let's prepare her quickly you know undress cut her hair off disconnect the head from the body and remove her makeup with pure acetone
Good, everything is gone and now I can start the customization. And first of all, I want to give her a bunch of beautiful long black hair. And to do so, I will use my trustworthy rerouting tool that I've made myself years ago out of an X-Acto knife and a needle with a loop cut open. her finished here a couple of hours later. I was busy with it while watching the Eurovision Song Contest live on YouTube and I can tell you that was really the best YouTube suggestion ever. I really had a lot of fun. So now let's put some glue inside of the head and let it dry for a couple of days. Actually while this glue was drying I finished my Vivian Lee a Scarlett O'Hara doll and now I'm ready to continue working on my Saraswati doll. So, now let's work on her face. I seal it with Mr. Super Clear, of course, like always, to make it suitable for drawing with pencils and pastels. And I start with turning her bright pink skin tone into a very warm, tanned nude color.
Okay, this is the face. I can let it for now and I can start working on her body because there is quite a lot of work because Saraswati has been mostly portrayed with four arms. Sometimes she has just two but mostly she has four arms and I think we should go big today and create a doll with four arms for the very first time on this channel. So I've got these two doll arms from a Create a Monster set. I think I will use these and I don't need to damage another doll just to source a pair of arms. So let's find some good spots for them. I think they should be a little bit below and behind the existing arms so they won't be on the way. So and now it's time to drill some holes in this doll. Yes, yeah, something like this will be good probably. So now let's take epoxy sculpt and form some decent looking sockets for the arms. And while the epoxy is drying, I can remove this snake skin texture from her arms. And the next day I can install the arms. And isn't it just perfect? I don't know guys, I'm very happy, really super. It was a very successful experiment today. So now let's blush her body to make it the same color like the face and then we will continue with this project. Oh, in the end I still want to add long nails to the second pair of hands because I want them to look like kind of the same person's hands with the same nails so I'm using hot glue for it.
Yes, I think it's good. Now it looks much more like the same hands, just with fingers in different positions. Now let's finally move on to the outfit and to the accessories of this doll because we have extremely a lot of work there and I want to start with her outfit. Actually, you know, it doesn't look that difficult at first glance. Saraswati on most of the images wears a red top with white and golden sari. Normally it's quite easy to make, but guys, I don't really know how to make a top for a doll body with four arms. Especially when the lower pair of arms is placed kind of more behind on her back. But let's experiment a little bit with it. Let's try different techniques. We might need to make more than one top, but something will work eventually. So I will use this red metallic fabric. It will add some extra shine to her shiny goddess look. And I start like usually with connecting the shoulders and attaching the sleeves. And now when the sleeves are attached, I will cut holes for the second pair of the sleeves and I'm making these holes deeper on the back. And then I'm attaching the sleeves to these holes as well. And it doesn't look bad at all, check it out, I've managed to make it from the very first try, from the first attempt. Uh, here is a little bit of fold happening on the front because of this very narrow space between these two arms. They're kind of pulling the fabric a little bit. But I don't think it's very critical because here will still come a sari on top of it and it will all look good in the end. So, speaking of sari, I'm going to use this white natural silk for it. It will look very soft, very lightweight, with some soft drapes. I think it will be very pretty. I've already decorated the sides of it with this golden ribbon. And now we will wrap our doll in this softest, the most gentle silk ever. And you can see that I've already made a simple petticoat of camera because Indian women wear a skirt under their saris. Beautiful. I think she looks exactly like Saraswati on different images. Absolutely gorgeous. So now we still need to make a crown, a music instrument and also a lotus flower to sit in. I don't know where should I start. It's really a lot of work, but let's probably make the crown first to finish up the outfit. So, I see that Saraswati wears sort of like a temple looking crown on most of the pictures. So, let's try to make something like this. And I'm going to use actually a Christmas bowl, like an ornament for a Christmas tree, for the base of this crown. I think the size will be quite perfect, but first of all, I need to cut it approximately in half.
you can see that the plastic has cracked a little bit kind of here and there so I will use Warbler Cobra cast to make it strong this kind of Warbler thermoplastic has like a stretchy net structure so you can really cast all sorts of objects all sorts of shapes with it and plus it's very sticky and it sticks to literally all kinds of surfaces so it's perfect for this Yes, now it's good. Now it feels very strong and it's still perfectly round. I'm very happy about it. So now let's add more structural elements to the crown. Good, yes, I think it's enough. So now I will also make two pairs of bracelets and a necklace for her. And then I will paint the entire set and I will cover it with gold. This is how it looks so far, very beautiful really, it's so shiny that you can literally see my reflection in it, hello guys. So now the most important part of this project, decorating the crown. I've already prepared a ton of different rhinestones and different shiny things and now we'll attach them to the golden base.
what I've ended up making. Check it out. I think it looks really beautiful. And this is how it all looks on the doll. I don't know. I think it's absolutely perfect. I will keep her hair long and straight because I didn't notice Indian goddesses having any special hair styling. So now let's attach false lashes, add gloss to her eyes and lips, and then we'll make that lotus flower for my Saraswati to sit in it. The flower should be quite big because the doll is supposed to fit there completely like with her legs, with her sari, with her music instrument. So I've already prepared all the details, cut them out of warble thermoplastic and now I will warm these petals up with the hair dryer and shape them more like lotus petals. So this is what I've made so far, I've got a really giant lotus flower, I think it looks really pretty. So now let's paint it and blush it with soft pastels to make it kind of more beautiful and more realistic. lotus flower I think it looks really good and very similar to what we've seen on the images now let's put a doll inside of it to see if it fits yep it fits and it looks amazing really with all this outfit with this silk really so pretty very happy about it so now I'm going to make the Saraswati's music instrument. It's called Vina. To be honest, I've never seen one in real life, but I think I'm ready to make it after looking at a bunch of pictures online. And I will use polymer clay for it. After sculpting all the details, I'm baking them in the oven for 30 minutes. And then I'm connecting all the details together after making some tiny adjustments.
beautiful. So now let's paint and decorate it. I've ended up with it. Doesn't it look beautiful guys? I don't know, I'm totally in love with it. Somehow I especially love making head accessories and music instruments for my doll and also shoes. So these are my favorites. But this Vina music instrument isn't the only thing that Saraswati holds in her hands. She also has a book or a manuscript that represents wisdom and learning, as well as praying beads that represent spiritual knowledge. So let's quickly make an imitation of a book out of Warbler and some praying beads out of, well, beads to finish up this project. So guys, this is my finished Saraswati and I really think that this is one of the most epic dolls that I've ever made. It took me of course extremely long to finish, I don't know, this video will probably be 3 hours long because I have for sure 2 times more footage than usual, but I think it was worth it because this doll is absolutely stunning. And I don't even know what my favorite detail is. I'm literally obsessed with her crown, it was so much fun to make and it also looks absolutely spectacular in the end. Her music instrument, the Vina, is also so beautiful and it was also fun to make, really love it. And of course the lotus flower makes everything even more majestic and special. And her face is also so beautiful as well as the outfit, so I don't know, I'm really excited about this project, I really love this doll, and of course I hope that you are excited as I am, so please let me know if you like this makeover and what part of it, which accessory was your favorite. I'm really curious to know what you like more, the crown or the music instrument or maybe something else. So and if you want to buy this doll you can do it on eBay, she's there for sale for three days right now. The only thing is that I will be able to ship this doll in two weeks because on Monday when it's sold I will be already on a cruise ship somewhere on the way to Iceland. So I will ship her on the 26th of June when I'm back and please follow me on Instagram and on TikTok because I'm going to post some sort of vlogs from Iceland there. 
So guys, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. And if so, please guys, don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And I will see you very soon in two weeks in my new very special project. And it's gonna be a collaboration with my mom again. She made some absolutely amazing outfit. So stay tuned, see you in two weeks. Love you guys. Bye!